Hey y'all! So y'all don't laugh at my struggle bun today. I'm rocking a struggle bun, but I'm comfortable. Anyway, y'all, I got to go to, I got to run a few errands today. I got to go to Torrid. I got to go, don't, don't mind me drag in the bag. Don't, we ain't even going to worry about it. Don't worry about it, child. Anyway, I got to go to Torrid to take back. Anyway, I got to go to Torrid to take back a shirt because my best friend bought me a shirt, but it's a little too big. So I'm going to take that back to see if I get a smaller size. I need to go to the post office. Um, I've got to go to Ulta and I need to go to Costco. So y'all are hanging out with me today. Alright, so first line of business, I need to go to the post office and try to catch them. Either the post office or the UPS store. A UPS store, a FedEx store, somebody's store so I can mail this stuff off. And I'm unable to do it during the weekday because by the time I get off, everything be closed already. That's the only disadvantage I have from working from home. Like if I got errands to run, I don't always have time to do it throughout the week because by the time I get off it's already dark y'all my bun is like literally struggling I'm gonna uh, put my wig on later on this week get my hair braided right back on up and pull out the wigs again that's what I'm gonna do So yeah, yeah, so I hope y'all are having an amazing, amazing day. Hope your day is off to a wonderful start. I am having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you all so much for, uh, if you're new to the channel, then hey girl, hey, I'm Miss Lovely. If you are oldie but a goodie, hashtag in the comments, oldie but a goodie, because Miss Lovely is in the building. I say lovely 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 in the building. All right, y'all, I have done my little song in a little minute, so I felt it was appropriate to do my little songy song at whatever. Okay. So we've got, so we've got a few things that we need to do today. Um, like I said, I need to mail off a few items. I need to go to a post office, a FedEx, or a UPS store. Mail this stuff off. I need to go to Torrid to make an exchange. I need to go to Costco. And I also need to go to Ulta as well. And what order I'm going to do this in, I don't know. But whatever I do, you guess, you best believe you're going to come with me. You're going to hang out with Lovely today. This is going to probably be like a day in the life of a day in the life, just living life, doing what I need to do to get what I need to get done, to do what I need to do, because I couldn't do it during the week. So now I got to do it now. What? Okay, girl. Anyway, I'll call y'all back when I get to where I need to go. Peace. Okay. All right. So we are, um, I did not make it to the post office in time because the post office is already closed for the day. So, I'm at the mall right now. I'm getting ready to go into tour real quick. And, yeah. So
down. So I did go into, I went, I just left out of Saks Fifth and Avenue. I don't know if I uh, just told y'all or not, but I went in there just to see what uh, kind of, um, what, uh, oops. I went into Saks Fifth and Avenue just to see what kind of luxury handbags they had in there. Their, their selection was like totally trash. Like they had like three MCM bags in there. Uh, like a few Javinci bags in there. Like big totes. Like overnight totes. And then they had like two or three YSO bags in there. That's just like what in the world? Like why you got this out on display? But anyway, so that was a bus trying to go on Saks Fifth and Avenue. But I was not able to get the shirt changed out to a different size. Because, oh, let me show y'all the shirt. This is the shirt right here. It's a really beautiful top. But it's just a, snap, a tad bit too big for me. And it's supposed to fit loose. But the way that it's too, too loose is like loose up under the arm area. And it's kind of like you can see where it's like loose up under the arm area. But it's just a, a sequin black top like this right here. Did y'all see that? It's very cute. Y'all see that? And it's, it's you know, like that right, right there with the spaghetti straps, with the thin straps, shall I say and torrent sizes run very true to size and this was a size too big for me so i needed a size three but the size of the shirt is a four and i need a three so they didn't have a three all they had was all fives and zeros no twos no threes so that's the four so i'll just keep the four and probably take the shirt to I probably just take the shirt to a seamstress. So I'm about to run over here. It's a Ross over here. I'm about to run over here to this Ross real quick. And I think it's an Ulta over there too. So while I'm at Ulta, I'll either go to Ross first and then I'll go over to the Ulta. But um that was a buzz. That was a straight bus. But that's just one Saks Fifth and Avenue, uh Fifth Avenue. I know there is another one. I just got to Google it and see exactly where it is. I might go there um one day later on this week just to see what they may have. <sighs> right now and I'm looking for a uh, cutting board because I want to do my husband a charcuterie, a charcuterie board and they've got like only a few cutting boards in here but they don't really have nothing the round kind that I really really want um, but I'm in Ross right now this is what they got so all they have of the boards and I already got like a square board but this is a real big thick one then they've got this one right here which is $5.99 which will probably be a good size, but I want a round one. Um, this one ain't got no price on it. And then this one is marble and it's heavy as crap. But I don't want the, the marble, I want like a wood, but I want a round circular one. And they don't have any in here at all. Like Ross is dry. Ross is dry, y'all. Now they got this big one. And of course, I have a big one like this. This one is at $14.99, but this is not exactly what I need. Let's see what else they got.
All right, so that was a straight bus. Maybe I'm just not having any kind of luck with finding anything that I'm really wanting. I did get some a few items from Ulta, but I went and sat Fifth and Avenue. They didn't have anything. I just left out of Ross. They didn't have what I really wanted or really had anything in mind or had anything I could really like use or want it. So maybe everybody is just buying the same stuff that I'm buying. Or maybe I'm just not having any luck with anything. But, um, what else is down there? It's a Five Below down there and a Marshalls and a World Market, but I don't feel like going down there. So, what I'm going to do now is I need to break my fast because I haven't eaten anything all day. I um, wonder if it's a Chick-fil-A around here. I need to find a Chick-fil-A so I can get me some grilled nuggets. So I can go ahead and, um break my fast and then I need to go to Costco so let me try to find me something to eat real quick I don't know what I want do I want grilled nuggets or do I want like a can't do any fried foods so whatever I get it has to be something grilled Ugh, what do I want what do I want y'all I don't know what I want to eat decide if I really do want to get some grilled nuggets from like Chick-fil-A like a six count six count maybe like a six count grilled nugget and an Arnold Palmer from a Chick-fil-A sounds really good to break my fast for today but the fact is where is a Chick-fil-A around here I know it's one around the corner in the mall, but I don't feel like going back in the mall. I need to eat a little something. I need to put something on my stomach. Y'all, my struggle bun is just whatever. All right, y'all. So let me um get my wits about myself, and I'll call y'all back when I don't know. I'll, I'll call you back, girl. I'll call you back. Oh, is that a, um, no, I don't want that. What is out here that I can eat? Because I can't eat any fried food. No fried food for the next 30 days. And then we're only eating from 12 to sundown. I don't know. I'll call you back. It's my fault I wear my heart on my sleeve. Think it's best out for my heart on nights, heart on nights. Cause I can't find it. So long here at Chick-fil-A. But I got some grilled nuggets. Y'all, I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. I don't even know even though I'm not getting a meal because I'm not doing any fried foods, I will still wait in the long behind line at Chick-fil-A. I'm just team Chick-fil-A, y'all. I think I'm going to get me a six count grilled nugget and an Arnold Palmer. Can't do the fries because fries is fried. Can't do... I don't know. Do I want to do grilled nuggets or do I want a grilled chicken sandwich and a drink and maybe some fruit, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Do I really want... I, I do know I need to get something to eat because I'm about to go... I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go to Costco. And I always taught myself I cannot grocery shop and be hungry. That's a no-no. Had to almost hurt. Hey, Carla. Carla? Yes. Alright, what can I get for you today? Um, can I get a six count grilled nugget? Just the nuggets and a small Arnold Palmer. Well actually how many nuggets come in the kids' meal? The kids meal actually comes with four or six nuggets. Four or six? Four or six. Confused which one whichever one. Can you I want. do the six grilled? Yeah. But I just want the, the nuggets, so I don't want the fries. No fries? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's cheaper like that? Yeah. 
Okay, that that'd be fine. Oh, but you know what? If I do the, do I have to get the fries? Can I do like a fruit, like fruit bowl with the kids? You meal? can do a fruit cup instead. Yeah, let me do that. Let me do the fruit cup instead of the fries with the kids meal. Yes. And then an Arnold Palmer to drink. Yes. All right. Can I get you any sauces, ketchup, condiments, man? I will do the Chick Fil A sauce. Chick Fil A sauce. Two okay? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right. So it's gonna be a six twelve. Thank you. Actually, let me get one one Chick Fil A sauce and let me get the honey roasted barbecue sauce as well. Absolutely. I forgot we could do the fruit cup instead of the french fries, so that's what I did. And I am so hungry, y'all. But like I said, I have taught myself to never go grocery shopping, especially when I'm going to Costco or Sam's, hungry. Because I will go in there and spend up every more. I will go in there and spend way more than I say I need to spend in there because everything looks good everything seems like it go with everything and then i end up getting a bunch of nothing that don't match anything and i have to already have in my mind as to like what i need to go in there for um but i have taught myself not to go grocery shopping hungry okay <laughs> i'm just can't, i just can't do it i got to eat i am hungry hangry is my name honey hangry i'm hangry i'm hangry I'm going to put some lip gloss on, even though I know I'm about to eat. But still, I just don't want to be looking out here all dry facing and stuff. And even though I know I'm about to put it back on my mask when I know I'm about to eat. And then I'm about to put on my mask when I go back in, when I go in Costco. It's a Sam's right over here. But for some reason, I like Sam's and Costco. But for some reason, I like going in Costco. I don't know why. I like both of them, but I just think I, I just prefer... Costco more than I like Sam's. But both of them carry like different uh stuff, you know, that I need and that I want. And so I don't have a I just per I just I don't know what I'm trying to say. Never mind child. Okay. Uh, I'm just hungry. But anyway, while I'm sitting in this line, let me show y'all what I got from and I'm getting from Ulta real quick while I'm just sitting here quick chit chat. So I ended up getting the um the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. And this is the color J12. I'm hoping that this is the right color. And I've got this color to do the highlight under my eyebrows. So I'm hoping this is the right color. Because of course, you know, you're supposed to do like two shades uh, lighter. And I saw um, Ivy. Ivy. Um, she used the J12, and I like the way it looked on her. And I think her her complexion and my complexion. I always use her as a um, a reference whenever she's buying makeup and things like that. And she used the the 12, and I liked the, her outcome. So I end up getting this concealer from there, and this was like fourteen dollars, fourteen or fifteen dollars. And then I end up getting the uh, Tattoo Studio Deep Onyx Maybelline. Uh, eyeliner and I'm getting this right here this is like my favorite this was how much this was $8.99 yeah this was $8.99 I don't know how much I normally get it from Target but I had a gift card from Ulta so I wanted to use my gift card Um, so this was $8.99 I don't remember exactly how much I pay uh, when I get these from Target or Walmart, but I normally get my makeup from like, uh, well, things like this that I use normally. I normally get them um, from Target. But because I had a gift card, I was like, well, let me go ahead and try this concealer and then let me go ahead and just get some eyeliner while I'm in there. So I, um, yeah, so that's what I got from Ulta. And yeah y'all it feels so good outside it's like 50 
51 degrees. It feels pretty good. I mean, it's like, it's cold. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool, but it's better than what it's been yesterday. Because I think they were like saying that it was supposed to snow last night, but I didn't see any snow. But I know some states, they did have some snow, what have you. But I didn't see any. We didn't get any. Um, that would have been nice to have some snow, but we didn't get any snow. Before I could even get to the window, they were bringing my food out, y'all. I'm wondering if I can get out here. If she squeezed up just a little bit, I can get out. Bam, here I go. Here I go. Boom, bam, here I go. All right, I got to pull over and park and eat for a second, y'all, because I am starving. I'm so starving. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm out there. Not not shaking, but I do feel like uh, I need to park real quick and just eat this real quick. Oh. And I was like, oh, thank you. Like, my pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. So polite. Have you guys tried the honey roasted barbecue from Chick-fil-A? Honey roasted barbecue. Have you guys ever tried this with your nuggets? Oh my goodness, it's fantastic with the nuggets, y'all. It's it's good on the chicken, period. The fried or the grilled. Um, but this is a uh, sauce that I love to use and I love putting it on my grilled nuggets. And these are what my grilled nuggets look like, y'all. Don't they look good? And then my fruit cup. Mmm. It's got um strawberry, blackberry, uh, apples, and I don't know what those little orange things are. Are they tangerines? But that's what the fruit looks like. So I'm about to smash this full real quick, and then I'm going to head on down to Costco, and then I'm going to back in the house and I just pour all this sauce on my chicken like this y'all gracious father thank you so much for this food I'm about to receive for the mercy of my body I pray amen amen say y'all grace say amen mm. Mm, 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 Awesome every time. Awesome every time I turn around. All right, I'm gonna eat my food. I'll see y'all in Costco. Y'all, like I said, I came in here and I spent way entirely too much money. $167 later. $167 later. What in the heck did I spend? Hello. Thank you. One hundred and sixty-seven dollars. I tell you, boy. Now, if I would have came in here hungry, because everything in here looked so good, but if I would have come in here hungry, it would have been, I know, a two hundred dollar bill. I don't even know. I don't really get a lot of stuff. I still gotta go to Walmart after I leave here. I like to come here and get like the big bulk stuff. <sighs> it was a madhouse in there and I was trying to like, it's hard trying to record in there and shop at the same time. So I didn't really pick you guys up and shop with me. But uh, of course, I'll show you guys everything that I get or that I purchased when I get home.
you let me go thank you so i did stop by tj maxx real quick you guys and remember i told you guys earlier that i was wanting to try to make a charcuterie board for my husband while he watches the game so i found me a board a circular or a round board that i'm going to be able to put uh the stuff on so i did found the cut i found the cutting board and i don't know exactly where i parked where in the double did i park okay i'm over here but anyway so i did stop i'm so glad i'm glad i stopped by tj maxx because they had the board that i want and they had some type of cheese crackers that i've never heard of i got the cheese crackers and some plantain chips and i know he loves plantain chips as well so i stopped and got some of those as well so all right i think the next stop i'm gonna go will be to the house if not i'll see you at the next stop All right, so I got some mo mochi, mochi, mochi. I think I'm saying the right mochi ice cream. I've been wanting to try these for some time now. And I finally got my hands on some. And these are all the flavors that I said I wanted to try. This is the strawberry, green tea, and mango. And it's a uh, premium ice cream wrapped in some type of sweet rich. No, start over. Premium ice cream wrap in sweet rice dough. And it's bad. Do you say M O C H I as mochi or mochi? Mochi. Yeah, I think this is called mochi. So it's mochi. So I got this from Costco. This uh, antipasta, uh, antipasta Italian family meat thingy thing. This one has the uh, black pepper coated salami, Italian dry salami, dry copa, and prosciutto. So we got this right here. I'm going to use this for my um, charcuterie board. And I'll, I'll probably make a charcuterie board on my, another video. But I got this. I purchased a thing of Brussels sprouts. Me and B Smooth had some Brussels sprouts last night from uh, Longhorn. And they were really, really good. Now, I tried Brussels sprouts one time before. And I don't know if it was just the way they were cooked. But I didn't like them the first time. But last night when we had them, they were cooked really good. They're like, it tastes like baby spinach. So I picked up a bag of Brussels sprouts, uh, picked up some fresh green beans, got to get our veggies in, uh, also purchased this two, I don't know if there's one slab or two slab, but I think it's two slab, yeah, two slab of seasoned St. Louis barbecue dry rub ribs, got a pack of these. Um, from Costco. I also picked up this Sonoma Gourmet Kale Pesto with white cheddar pasta sauce. Never tried this sauce before, y'all, so I said I was going to try this um, one night for dinner. Probably do this like with some noodles, I guess. I don't know. So this is going to definitely be a new recipe we try later on this week. So I'll probably do a separate video for that. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, and I got some canola oil cooking and baking spray because we were running out of this. Well, actually, I ain't got no more at all. Got that cooking spray. Uh, got a big thing of times the season kind because we do I do put on making some salads this week. Um what else I got? 
I got the thing of mayo. Y'all let me know. Y'all comment down below. Do y'all like Duke's mayo or do y'all like Hellman's? I like Duke's and I like Hellman's. But Hellman's just happened to be on sale at Costco. So I got the double thing of Hellman's mayo. Uh, what else I got? I got these uh, brioche French rolls. So this will probably go good with some a pasta dish later on this week. Uh, I also purchased a thing of croissants. Of course, these are the all-time favorite croissants. Got a thing of these. Um, let's see what else I got. Costco. All right, I also got these beef hot dogs. They come like three packs like this, three packs like this. So these are all beef hot dogs. Got these hot dogs, something quick and easy when I don't feel like cooking. We can also always eat hot dogs. I got this thing of pulled pork. I might try to do some uh, burrito, burrito Mexican style tacos one night this week. I already got the queso cheese already. So I said I might do some Bedidia. I think I'm saying it right. Am I saying it right, Baron? B I R R. The Bedidia. The Bedidia. He over there sleep, child. But I got this because I'm going to try to make some Bedidia tacos one night this week. Got a thing of variety cheese right here. This one has the uh, Swiss Kobe Jack cheddar and Monterey Jack. So I got the, they're all sliced, so they're good for sandwiches. But I'm going to use them for my charcuterie board as well. Um, got some pizza. It's like four. It came in a box right here. Something quick and easy for the kids to heat up in the oven. Then I also purchased these raspberry crumble cakes, y'all. The, first, the last time we went to Costco and I purchased these, these things ain't stand a chance. But I got some, these little crumble cakes right here. Super, super good. And I think I'm about to pop one of these as soon as I stop recording. But these raspberry cakes right here I got. Also purchased these drumsticks. These were $10, y'all. Double pack of chicken. $10. This whole thing right here was 10 bucks from Costco. And it comes packaged like that. 10 bucks. Got some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And that's all that I got from Costco. Then I went to TJ Maxx. Y'all saw when I went to TJ Maxx. But let me show you real quick what I got from TJ Maxx. Because this is going to finish up the stuff that I needed to make my charcuterie board. Uh... I got this uh, Lazy Susan cutting board right here. I don't know if it's considered a cutting board or it's just a lazy. It just says Bamboo Lazy Susan. But I got it because it was round. And like I already have a cutting board that's like the rectangle shape. But I wanted one that was a circular shape. Now they had one that had like feet, like the four feet. But they weren't as big and round. They, the, the diameter was a little bit smaller. So I got this one because this one was a little bit bigger in size. So I got a charcuterie board or a cut board, whatever you want to, however you want to put it. I got that from TJ Maxx. Then I came across these cornbread crisp from TJ Maxx. Y'all know they always have like those different types of chips and popcorns and stuff. So I got a bag of these cornbread crisp. And I'll probably put that on the charcuterie board. And then I also picked up these uh, plantain strips as well. Got those. And I got some other stuff that I'm going to put on the charcuterie board. But, you know, already, the stuff that I already had are stuff that I purchased um, another time. 
But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me today. I enjoyed you guys hanging out with me, hanging out with Lovely, doing the stuff that Lovely loves to do, which is shop. Y'all hear my husband over there snoring? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm talking about you. You ain't got, it's no, I know you work today, it's okay. That man, my husband is over there tired, y'all. He's snoring real hard. <laughs> I'm surprised I let hear him. But anyway, I'm tired too. I'm about to put this food up, take me a shower, and that's about it, y'all. That's that's going to wrap up this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you keep looking good. Make sure you keep smelling good. And I'll see you guys on my next video.